Okay, well, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited to be connected with you. I want to ask you guys, if you're an entrepreneur, do you have a blog? Like, why don't you have a blog yet? I think it is so important as an entrepreneur to have those different ways that we can reach people. But I am talking today about entrepreneurs. Like, are we utilizing our blogs? Are we utilizing Pinterest? I have a blog, but it's new. Well, that makes me so excited. I love connecting with people that have blogs because I think it's really important in your business to have a blog as an entrepreneur. So as an entrepreneur, we can have all these ways to connect with people. We can use Instagram, we can use Facebook, but what is the method that they're looking up when they're typing in the search engine that is gonna pull up your name that has your brand, your content, that they can be searching and looking through. That's kind of how I think of it. Like if I didn't have my website, laurabethfinley.com, I just kind of wonder, okay, well, how are they supposed to find me just for my Facebook Lives? I do so many of them. I do so many Facebook Lives. I think YouTube and blogs are a great way to go. I used to really utilize my YouTube channel a lot, but I really haven't lately, and I have a lot of subscribers on there, but my brand has changed. It used to be like this more comical brand. Now I'm this like serious mompreneur. So changing everything has been, I've been doubting myself. So I've realized it's time for me to start doubting myself and just do it. I have the blog. I'm ready to really just start rolling that out there and doing what needs to be done. So I wanted to give you guys some awesome tips for your live videos, a way for you to repurpose your live videos so that way you can still be connecting with your people on your blog or on your YouTube channel, whichever you choose, and using Pinterest as a tool to really connect with your following or to connect with people you don't know. Um, Pinterest is a way, like a pin can be live for a year or more. A Facebook post is gonna be live for a day or two and then it kinda goes away and it might, it might be revisited occasionally. Someone might randomly stumble and find it, but a pin can be repinned for a year and that keeps bringing traffic back to your blog, to your brand, people that keep noticing you. So I wanted to give you some super awesome tips about how you could get started on Pinterest. But on Pinterest, when you make your Pinterest account, remember that 80% of your pins should be from other people that you pin to your boards. So 80% of those should be from other people and 20% your own. That way you're sharing other people's content and Pinterest really appreciates that and that's kind of how their algorithm works is that if you are pinning 80% of other people's stuff and 20% of yours, more of your stuff will come up because you're not spamming the feed. Also, you want 15 boards on your account, 15 boards, and then each of them should have at least 10 pins each. So I have sections in mine and I have it organized and mine's probably kind of chaotic because I'm new and I'm learning, but I have at least 15 boards and I'm trying to make sure that each board has at least 10 pins. So that way my profile looks good when other people click on it it really makes a difference and it really stands out. Don't go with your Instagram name, go with your professional name. Don't go with the products you're selling. Remember you are wanting to brand yourself. Make sure also that you fill out the name on the pin, the description and the destination website. Fill in all the info that is super, super, super important screenshot this sweet little cheat sheet i love you so much i had to share be consistent with your visual branding make sure that your fonts and your images are consistent so that way when people see that pin they'll be like oh that's that girl i really like that brand i really like i really like reading stuff from their blog or i really like her youtube videos and they're just going to click it and pin it because they're already going to like you and they're gonna start connecting with you and they're gonna start seeing your content and they're really gonna love it. When I think about making those pins, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this whole blog post, I gotta do this whole video. No, think about all those live videos you have done in the past. 
So I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna turn my camera around. I'm gonna show you how you can get your links and how it can help you. All right, I don't know if you see that. It might look a little funny, but um, I'm gonna go to my Laura Beth page because every Wednesday I do a Woo Woo Wednesday video. Let's see, pages. And then we're gonna click on Laura Beth. And then I'll scroll down and I'll find the video that I'm looking for, or I'll just click videos. That'll be easier. And then here's the video. So I'm gonna click, well, I'm gonna click this one. There's my video. I've opened it up. I'm gonna click these three dots right here on the computer. I can click download video if I'm gonna put it on YouTube, or I'm gonna click embed if I'm gonna put it on my WordPress blog. I'm gonna put include full post. I'm gonna copy this. And then over on my WordPress, I'm gonna go to add new post. And then I'm gonna click the text option. And I'm just gonna embed that baby right in there. And then look, it like pops up so perfectly. It looks beautifully, mm, love it. I've already actually done this though, so I'll actually show you what it looks like on my post. It's really cool too because you can write additional information with this. So this is my newest blog post that I've done. And I've included additional information. I've made like fancy smanchy pins for it. So you always, usually for a blog post or YouTube video, I would recommend at least making two pins for it. So have different wording like this was one pin that I used for it. And then this is the other pin I used for it. You can see how consistent they are with their font. The wording's a little bit different and one's vertical and one's not. And then right here, I have all that text that I wrote. And then here's my video. Um, with the YouTube video, you really don't have to include all that. And some of my videos I don't because I do a series called Woo Woo Wednesday. And I'm probably not always gonna write everything out for those videos but I have them all embedded and added in here. That is how you embed it and you can use that post again and again. Hello, Sleeping Beauty, you look amazing. So it's awesome for you to be able to go through, be able to create, okay, you already made that live video. You busted your tail on that video. You were so nervous. You had to get the courage and actually do it. So you had to get the courage. You put yourself out there to do it don't waste your energy on just that video put it in your blog post put it on your YouTube like take your brand a little further go to Pinterest um, I also pulled up my Pinterest because I wanted to show you guys um, my board so um, so here I would make a business account for sure because it, it'll let you be able to see you know, like your analytics and stuff like that and I like the line right here because it looks really good. I have affirmations, vision board, tarot and oracle, manifesting, healthy meals, um, which I'm still working on, personal development. So really I picked things that are in my niche and I picked some things that even though I don't really blog about healthy meals, but I do have a kid. So I feel like it's important for me to have on there. You want these things to kind of reflect who you are and your brand and what your reach can be with your following. So these are all things that very much reflect me. I also have a mompreneur board, which I love. It has like all my awesome tips that I save for myself. Okay, so then I have this like divided up in sections like email list, books, Instagram marketing, organization, Pinterest marketing, and Facebook marketing. A lot of people like to be a part of group boards. That way they can connect with other people and they can repin other people's pins. So if you want to do that, you could certainly do that too. But with the way Pinterest is aligned now, you don't have to do group boards anymore to get noticed or to get recognition in your brand. I have a witchy group board and a spiritual boss group board that I started. I would love to have you join. Pinterest has been really fun. I'm still learning, but I did want to show you guys that it's a way for you to take your stuff to the next level. But I would shy away from like my Instagram name is ditchwitch underscore XO. I wouldn't necessarily do that because I might like that's my Instagram name. 
and I do great on my marketing on Instagram, but that's different than what Pinterest would be or what kind of things that people are looking for on Pinterest. Kind of like on Facebook, if I, my name was Ditch Witch on there, people would be like, what? That is not your name. Look at where you are today, take a picture. I didn't have to take a picture because it was zero. Nobody looked at my stuff, nobody. If it could have been negative, it would have been. And now to look at it and it says that I have daily impressions because I'm being consistent. Any platform wants you to be consistent. So I'm being consistent, I'm pinning every day, I'm working on this every single day. My consistency is gonna pay off more and more. I'm new to this, but it does make me feel good that it's growing. So I'm growing. I have already created so many graphics. I found my font. I picked three different fonts, one for my website at the bottom of my pins, one for like my secondary text, one for my title text. I've picked my colors, I've picked my style and my layout for my pins, and it's so, so exciting. Like, it makes me so happy. If you need any help, send me a message. I'll be happy to look at your board. I started Pinterest with zero monthly viewers. I moved in one week to nine monthly viewers. And then a week later, after two weeks, 633 viewers. In two weeks, my Pinterest grew 633%. You can do that too. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope this was helpful and you have a great day. Bye.